Hello everyone, Fantani, that's Card Ghost. Today Ultra Leapers released the latest version of the hand striking runtime, dubbed Gemini. You probably have seen already something from me about Gemini. There was a preview some months ago, but today the runtime has been officially released. So it is possible if you have a Windows PC, have a Ultra Leap sensor like this, Stereo 170 or, or the standard lead motion controller, you can put it on your headset and try the new Gemini runtime following the link here below in the description. You can try it and you can notice that it is pretty cool. So let me show you my experiments that I done did with a quest and link. So it's, it's not just the quest, it's not a standalone mode, it's the quest connected to PC via the cable and so I tried the Windows runtime even if actually Ultra Leap has implemented its runtime inside the Qualcomm Snapdragon XR2 uh, chipset so it's possible to run on a standalone device for instance the Link Air 1 has shown that it will use the Ultra Leap tracking on its standalone headset uh, but I'll try it on Windows PC so let me show you what are the performances of the runtime with the latest also uh, tracking sensor for Ultralib. Let's try the reliability of the Ultralib tracking with the new model and the Gemini runtime. So let me put my hands in the field of view that immediately initialize. So look, I come and as soon as they are in the field, my field of view, since the tracking field of view is bigger than the visual field of view, they are already initialized. And I'm now moving them in my periphery of my vision, the tracking gets never lost. And I can also do the gestures like pinching my thumb with all my fingers and I see that this is happening with both hands, even if they are at the edge of my field of view. So that's, that's incredible. So let's try the accuracy for separate hands. So it looks pretty solid. It looks also a bit faster than with the preview that I tried. I don't know if there's an impression or if it is true. And let's try pinching again. And there are the usual problems with the pinky and the ring. So you see that when I close the pinky, also the ring finger is bending. So that's, that's not a good news. For the rest, it's working flawlessly. Um, also trying to move the fingers this way. Yeah, it's not perfectly, exactly like the movements that I'm doing in real life, but it is being pretty, pretty good in tracking my fingers. Also, the it's always the, the ring and the pinky creating some issues. And then let's try putting the two hands close one of the other, and it seems that the tracking keeps working in this way. Let's try to go deeper, and the tracking keeps working. You know that uh, you see that the two hands are actually crossing while my real hands are one on the top of the other. So again, not perfect. You see that uh, the fingers of the hand that is behind are bending while my real ones are not bending. But look, <laughs> with what the other SDK you can do this. I'm crossing my real hands and also crossing the virtual hands. I also can do this and the tracking keeps working. I can do also on the back. I can put my hand on top of the other. Of course, if I close it completely, the tracking gets lost, but then it recovers automatically as soon as the hand is seen again. So it's, it's kind of impressive. How I can do this, I can also like <laughs> create a chain with uh, the thumbs and the index fingers on my two hands. That's something kind of impressive. And also, what I love is the also with movement works well. So look, this I'm moving with my hands pretty fast, and since they're the same color, they never the tracking never gets lost. It's like I can make a fitness game without using the the controllers and it's working with the with the punch sometimes the tracking gets lost i guess because it's more difficult to 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 keep you know the, um, the shape of the punch is just around it's more difficult to track 
while the five finger pose is easily detectable. But even with a punch, I can do something, you know, not pretty a uh, big accuracy boxing game, but you know, like rehabilitation stuff or something with moving the hands fast in some direction for rehab or for basic fitness, it's fine. So you see that is like impressive. This is really, really impressive. Not perfect. Also, there are some problems with sunlight. Sometimes I see that with sunlight, if my hand lost the tracking, it takes a little more to gain again the tracking. But these are like details. I think that we are 90% there. It's, it's the most impressive hand tracking I've tried in my life. So let me show you also the blocks demo. Let me show you how the demo block works. So you see that the tracking is very stable. I can also shake my hands like this. And the tracking continues. So, and I can generate blocks. So I have to be careful not to occlude my index with my uh, thumb finger. If I keep them visible, I can generate blocks everywhere in my vision. That's incredible. So let me go on with the demo, I can stack things, you can see that I can generate as long as I make them busy working on blocks everywhere, I can move them, and it's fun that I can also get like little block, and then play like this with my hands, see how it is easy, so like that, and and then I can also have this kind of manual interactions with the menu and create blocks of different kinds, create cubes, again everywhere, also my peripheral vision, I can keep creating blocks, so not only when I can actually have them in front, I can also get these wheel shapes. And I can set things and have another kind of hands like this one, the more realistic. So you see that the demo is incredibly stable, much more than the last time I tried it. It's really, I don't even have to think about stuff. I just do whatever I want and things work as I expect them to work. It's, it's incredible. It's super usable like the most usable version of blocks I have tried in my life. This is surely the best tracking demo I've tried until now. So this is impressive. Also with the other demos now, I don't want to make this video too long, but even in this scenario, uh, all, even with all the other demos, I had similar results. So impressive tracking, great usability. This is the Ultralip launcher. You see super smooth and tracking that I showed you before. And I can open a menu, to which I can access, I can move it very easily, and to which it, I can access all the Ultralip demos, uh, some media, so look how it is easy to use it through my hand, so I can select any kind of media about Ultralip and see it, and I use just my hands to interact with it like it was like a, a touch screen in VR, that's, that's amazing, really. And I can return back. It's super easy to be used, I don't have to understand anything. I, can, I could launch one of these demos, but I uh, don't want to make you bored by seeing another demo as well. Uh, ultra lift tracking, and then here are some settings like hand tracking. I can put the mesh hands. Here I have these more realistic hands now. There is this fake uh, Wi Fi thing, so let me just move it up. It's here. Uh, it's all fake, they are not to uh, Wi-Fi, it's so just to showcase this cool keyboard. So, look that it, it highlights where I have to press the buttons, and I can show you here that it works flawlessly. How, E, O, and I can answer everything and say, Tony, T, O, N, Y, space, S, K, A, A, R, R, E, D, so, G, H, O, O, S, T. 
So the keyboard is the best keyboard that a child in VR with hand tracking. It's very smart to these IQs to make it work so that you understand what you're going to press. So this is fantastic. So from my test, I can confirm that with Gemini and the stereo camera, Ultra Leap Tracking is the best hand tracking solution I have ever tried in my life. So, uh, talking about the solutions that don't use gloves but just tracking cameras, Ultra Leap is the best. It's probably also the one starting before all the others, but it's incredible. It's incredible how I can uh, cross my fingers, do this kind of movements move fast my hands and the tracking keeps working it is not perfect there are sometimes I've just seen some slight misdetections the sunlight still creates some problems blah 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 but these are minor issues I say that really 90% of the job is done incredibly well it is almost perfect in the sense there is a 10% of tiny details complicated situation that is to be solved but really I'm impressed of the tracking on the device, also impressed by their work with uh, hand tracking UX or for instance the keyboard. I love the keyboard because for the first time using the hands I could really understand where I was typing and so I could type safely just using my hands. It is still a bit slow so when I touch type I'm like this and uh, I was like when I was Probably a teenager, I couldn't touch type, I was typing like this on the keyboard of my PC and it's coming back and becoming 20 years <laughs> younger, so that's a nice experience, but uh, still to be improved, of course, we need touch typing also in VR, but as a um, haptic -less keyboard, I think it's one of the best that I've tried as well. So a very, very good solution also on a UX standpoint with a new launcher, etc, etc. So kudos to Ultralib for all the job that I've done. Of course, I invite you again to check out Ultralib website following the link here below and try by yourself the new runtime and we'll find via how it is cool. I also have to thank Ultralib, so I compliment them for what they're doing, but also thank them because they are very kind people always. They also gave me this cool t-shirt, so thanks Ultralib people. They have not tasked anything in change, so this is not a video paid by a t-shirt. They were just being very, very kind since they were very happy of launching the runtime. They sent to me other people this kind of uh, zwag, and I really thanks them. And if you have any questions or whatever you want to know about the Ultra Leap Germany tracking, let me know, ask me in the comments. I thank you for watching. I wish a great day in the RMBR. Bye-bye.